Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So there's something I have to admit. So as you see on the title, I almost messed up this car, the CLA 45 AMG. Well, thankfully I didn't, but uh, basically, long story short, before I done my custom remap, I bought a tuning box for this car. Now there are a few points I want to say first. I bought a tuning box for this car which is made by a very very highly known big good company. So I didn't just buy from any Tom and Jerry or any little dealer or something like that. I bought a well known, I'm not going to mention the company because I don't want to bad mouth any brands but you know if I would just mention the company I'm sure you guys will say oh I've heard about that company I've known that company a very big known company so I was actually very surprised but long story short I bought this tuning box from this brand and they claim it should get around 400 horsepower from stock so I was really excited simple you plug in and you know it's basically a plug and play you just connect a couple of um, I think three different sensors from the car if it was yeah three different sensors I connected this uh, box and turned on the engine and that engine light pops up the dashboard so obviously I make sure I go through the instructions again check all the connections make sure everything is done properly um, disconnected it reconnected it done everything as per instructions a few times now we're going back to the same thing a few times and the engine light keeps going on hold on hold on <laughs> all right back to you guys so I'm just trying to keep the video very chilled, you know, you guys know I don't stage anything, I don't plan my talks, I just do it as it goes and I think that's the best way I want to keep our channel going, um, not too official, like now I'm just chatting nonsense but the engine light kept coming on all the time, checked the troubleshooting guides, couldn't figure it out, um, took back out the whole thing and um, as I said, reinserted the whole thing all over again and this is like spending hours and hours of messing around and I, the thing is I did not want to mess around with stuff that I'm not really familiar with it's supposed to be very simple well quite simple, just to unplug a couple of things and put them back in um, done that, finally the light disappeared I was like, hey, finally I figured it out took the car for a little test drive and I must say the power boost was mad so it just it felt good but not as good as now that's the truth um, then the engine light pops back up again and I'm like oh, again with the same business I decided enough is enough took back off the box um, took off uh, you know put everything back the way it was and the engine light was still popped up on the dashboard so um, basically what I've done is I messed, I messed around with the car um, a whole bunch of well I took the car to be diagnosed by a friend of mine but to his garage um, diagnosed it and there was like a whole bunch of different uh, sensor stuff and uh, I can't remember the codes like there was about 10 different things so reset it um, oh, not to go oh, to mention first. Put the box on the, put the box back on the car again when I went to him, so to see if he can diagnose the car while the box is on the car. Um, so as I said, there was like ten different faults. Got the faults clear. Engine light pops away, and turn, turn off the ignition. Turn it back on. And bang! The engine light pops back again couldn't figure it out so decided again enough is enough getting that box finally once and for over removed properly removed it properly clear the folds everything seemed fine now so here's here's really what I want to say I mean there are tuning boxes that could be good 
there are tuning boxes that could not be good and to be fair I expected this one to be really good because as I said at the start this is a very very highly known brand and it wasn't a cheap box by the way the results was headache problems um, so thankfully I managed to get my money back because I sent it back complained obviously that could be the box was faulty I don't know um, but something definitely wasn't right so that's why I decided after that no tuning boxes so just like a little experience I had which I did not tell you guys until now but I just said you know what let me share this experience um, because I know a lot of people do remaps tuning boxes and I think this is just something you should consider before you do a tuning box of course there are benefits as well from a tuning box it can be removed easily let's say um, if you have any problems with the car you can just remove it um, um, people who have warranty on the car and stuff like that um, you know look I'm not um, kind of telling or mixing in what people do what they should what they shouldn't do but the fact is that a lot of people have tuning boxes just remove it for warranty um, or main dealer stuff and, and return it and when you have a remap it's a slightly bit more difficult to, to remove it obviously so obviously this is a big reason why people go for tuning boxes but I've had previously a tuning box in my previous car my 335i it was a very good box power wise but I had not from day one but I did have dashboard lights and um, I don't think it was the best thing I've done for the car so that's just me guys I thought I'll share with you so I'm gonna end the video here please give this video a thumbs up if you want to support the channel subscribe if you haven't done so yet and I'll see you guys on the next video bye now